Hello and happy Wednesday. Today I wanted to start a new feature with you guys. Just a little low-key chat session that will pop up every now and then just when I'm wanting to discuss something with you guys. And I'm calling it Tea Chat. And I'm not gonna lie, I just really wanted to use this chalkboard mug. <laughs> I figured this would be kind of perfect. So the whole purpose of Tea Chat is just to chat about something that I've been thinking about or something that you guys want to talk about. Um, you can always let me know. It's just casual conversation over some tea, so you can feel free to make yourself a mug and join me. Or a little chat session with you guys, a little tea time bonding. But any excuse to drink good tea, right? Mmm. Boiling. But that is enough of a ramble, so allow me to tell you the purpose of today's tea chat, and that is inspiration and motivation. So this is something I've been thinking about a lot lately, for a number of reasons, but mostly because of just the person I am, I guess. If you follow me on Instagram or you watch my vlogs, you'll know that I've been watercoloring a lot lately. You'll also know that I like to bake and, and I like to do elaborate Halloween makeups and <laughs> those of you that subscribe to this channel probably already know that I like to write. So basically it's anything that I can get my hands on. Anything I can learn, anything new creative, new skill, I want to learn it, I want to do it. But I suffer a bit from the shiny syndrome. I'm constantly onto the next and I abandon things when the new thing comes along that I want to learn or that piques my interest and I find myself passionate about. And that's all well and good. It's a good trait to be curious about the world and to want to learn everything that you can. It's not so good a trait to never complete things and to just abandon them. I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about it. First of all, what inspires you? What do you get excited about and want to learn? And what are the things that you guys do? Obviously a lot of you are into books, otherwise you probably wouldn't follow my blog or my YouTube, but none of us, I would imagine, are completely flat people. You know, we're dynamic, we have lots of interests. I said at the beginning of this year that I wanted to make this year more about me and being myself in all of its aspects with you guys and not just the bookish stuff. I think it'd be nice if I got that from you too. And I don't mean like bearing your soul or anything, like you have to reciprocate, but I just mean let's talk about all of our passions. I would really like to know in the comments what makes you guys excited, what inspires you to create or do more or be more. Tell me about your hobbies, and if you have them showcased online, link them, let me see them, share them with the world. Say, yeah, I did this. Or if there's something you're wanting to do, wanting to learn, let us know about that and be okay with being at the beginning of the journey. You don't have to start out a master, you can just test the waters, and if it's not for you, you can test waters on another beach, that's fine. Connecting with other people who also do these things or are interested in these things, or maybe didn't know that they had an interest in these things until you started talking about it and they were like, yeah, you know what? That sounds really cool. I think that is a really good thing. I think community is a big inspirer for most people, having that sense of camaraderie and someone's in it with you and someone has been there or has tricks to share or whatever. I think it's good to connect with people, even if it's not the same mediums, even if it's not that you're passionate about the same things. Passion attracts passion, I think, so it's a good thing to talk about, and I would like to talk about it with you guys. But the flip side of that is once you have your inspiration and you have your thing you want to do, how do you keep yourself motivated and how do you stick to it? Clearly, this is something I have a little bit of a problem with being honest here. I've been realizing that though I'm not a super competitive person, having a sort of atmosphere of jovial competition really does help me stay motivated. Case in point, NaNoWriMo. I got a lot done during NaNoWriMo even though I was out of town <laughs> for work and was moving my entire house. <laughs> so I had packing and unpacking and sorting and getting rid of, still got a ton done. Partly that's because things are more exciting at the beginning. You go in gung-ho and then you start to lose steam. But also I think it was, I hesitate to call it competition, but you know what I mean, that sort of competition with NaNoWriMo participants and also with yourself for that little bar graph. It, it keeps you kind of pepped up and like ready to tackle and be like, no, I'm not going to be left in the dust. Good-natured, supportive atmosphere of competition. Hi kitty! Not I must win and grind everybody beneath my boot heel type of competition. That supportive and exciting atmosphere, that definitely helps keep me motivated, but that isn't accessible all the time. That doesn't happen all the time. So what other things do you guys have? Kitty's joining us. So I'm curious what things you guys use to keep you motivated. 
what tools to keep you going on something, um, if you have little reward systems for yourself, if you're part of groups for things, if you go to classes, if you give yourself really rigid schedules and make yourself adhere to them, please, please, please chat with me in the comments about this. Partly because I like to see other people's process and how they do the things that they do, but also because I want to steal some of your ideas and use it in my own life to motivate me. I think I need to be a little bit of a taskmaster to myself, but it's hard to be a self-starter and to not just say, well, yeah, I can be a taskmaster tomorrow. But that's all, really. I mean, I could ramble on and on about this for ages, I'm sure, but I really just wanted to know what inspires you, what do you seek out inspiration, and what things do you love to do and are you passionate about, and what motivates you to keep doing those things and achieve the things you want to achieve in life. That's all, really. But please, please chat with me in the comments or on Twitter if you're inclined. Tweet me or Instagram me your mugs of tea if you'd like. We can hashtag it if you want. I don't know. Tea chat with book rat rhymes. Oh man, I'm gonna hashtag this when I upload it. Yeah, you don't have to. If you do though, it will crack me up. Just know that. It will make my black little heart warm and fuzzy. But that's it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you would like to see more of tea chats, little chats, little tea chats, I'm gonna stop saying that, tea chat, or any topics that you would like to discuss and I will try to work them in the schedule. I will be back on Sunday for another video. I don't recall offhand what it is right now. Maybe I haven't decided yet. So if you have opinions on what the Sunday video should be, you can let me know that too. But I will see you guys. I'm going to finish my tea, enjoy yours, and as always, thanks for watching and happy reading. I have to be really careful not to drink where I've put the chalk because I don't think that will taste very good.